Sixty years after the Holocaust, the lessons of this tragic period of Jewish history remain profoundly relevant. Thanks to Hillel's Darmstadter Holocaust Education Initiative, a new generation of college students has the resources to learn the history of the Holocaust, to repudiate its deniers, and to apply its lessons to injustices today. 2006 was a watershed year for the Darmstadter program. Students in Hartford, Cincinnati, Kiev, and Moscow worked with faculty members to create Holocaust-era cabarets and celebrated spiritual resistance. At Northwestern University, Professor Arthur Butts created a furor when he publicly supported the statements of the Iranian president denying the Holocaust. Northwestern Hillel went on the offensive and used Darmstadter funds to confront the professor and educate the campus. Arguing whether slavery happened doesn't make any sense. Same thing with the Holocaust. It's not a matter of discussing what, whether or not it existed. It's a matter of discussing what can we learn about it? What are we going to do about it? How are we going to prevent that from happening in the future? With support from the Darmstadter program, Hillel undertook a year-long campaign to raise awareness about the genocide in Darfur. In its Washington headquarters, Hillel mounted an exhibit of drawings by children who witnessed the violence in Darfur. The exhibit was opened by British Chief Rabbi Jonathan Sachs. Al Arabiya, one of the leading networks in the Arab world, was among the media outlets that covered the exhibit. So in Jewish history, I mean, well, in, in world history, there was the Holocaust, and Jews were singled out as a people, and it was the first genocide, and they were killed. And we as Jews very clearly say, you know, never forget, never forget. And I think that the second part of never forget is take action to do something if it happens again. During the Darmstadter-supported journalism training program in February, legendary broadcaster Marvin Kalb described the failure of reporters to adequately cover the Holocaust. He drew a parallel to the current situation in Sudan. There isn't a single executive producer in America who doesn't know what's going on in Darfur. The question is, if you reported that live, let us say Fox, CNN, MSNBC decided to run hours and hours of coverage from Duffel. I will bet you, though I don't know this for a fact, but I'll bet you that they've already checked this out and they know that the ratings would collapse. In April, tens of thousands of activists from across North America convened in Washington, D.C. to rally against the genocide in Sudan. More than 1,000 Hillel students participated with the support of the Darmstadter program. Nobel laureate Elie Wiesel opened the rally. I, as a Jew, am here because when we needed people to come to help us, nobody came. Therefore, we are here. The story of the Holocaust has been told in countless ways, but none is more effective than the testimony of survivors. Tanya Rosemarin shared her story of survival with students who participated in the Darmstadter Journalism Training Program. So what we need to do now, especially you, young people, the obligation is now on you to, to see, to do what you can do, that evil should not, should not exist, especially now that we see all over what is going on. So this is the message in your hands. You can help the world becoming a better world and becoming liberated from the abuse. By learning the lessons of the Holocaust, we give meaning to the phrase, never again. Hillel's Darmstadter Initiative makes this possible. <laughs>